Okay, this last part in uh, part two is the envelope uh, on page 43. Um, keep in mind, like the uh, business card and letterhead, uh, it should only take about 30 minutes to create the envelope. Um, it's a pretty simple um, assignment. Um, it's just using your desktop publishing skills, setting up a document according to the directions and the exact sizes that it gives you. Because a lot of times when you have clients or you're, you're uh, working with certain size papers, you need to know these things when you're designing something in order for it to come out correctly. Um, so um, that, that's part of uh, what you're, you're learning. Um, so everybody knows what a, a letter is, an envelope. Uh, you're going to use your skills again to design an envelope that coordinates with your band's letterhead created in Project 4. The envelope will complete the design of your band stationery. Uh, the envelope is one of the most important documents a business uses, yet its design is often overlooked. An envelope is the first document that the recipients see, and it makes the first impression for a business. <laughs> Common elements found in an envelope are the company name, address, and sometimes website address. Located at the top left-hand corner of the recipient's address in the center. The standard size of a business envelope, also no, known as a number 10 envelope, is 4.125 inches tall and 9.5 inches wide. So that's the standard uh, business envelope size. So be sure that you uh, look at the strategies and design tips here. Um, and make sure that you make your envelope design match your letterhead and business card. So you want a, a common theme. You don't want a completely different letterhead design that doesn't look like your business card or envelope. So keep 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 it um, keep the same theme. Uh, keep your envelope design simple. Uh, look at other examples. Um, let me show you. If you click on design an envelope I have other student designs. They even make sure that you put the band's information in the top left area with the logo. Uh, you might even put something for the stamp that's kind of extra and kind of cool. Uh, but see, some are more elaborate and then some are pretty simple. Keep that in mind, seniors. Um, look, be sure you look at the uh, request. You're going to save this as, if you're on 1B, you would put 1B underscore, last name, first initial, underscore, envelope. Now, let's look at uh, the instructions. Always, on, on page 41, always look at the gray box area. Include your band's logo, your slogan or tagline, if you've created one. And contact information, including your address, city, state, zip, code, and website address. Make sure you don't leave out the web address because I'll count five or ten points off just because you've left something out from the directions. So make sure you include that. Notice they didn't ask for phone numbers or fax numbers on this one or email. Um, so follow the, uh, the setup directions. Now, envelope page setup instructions. It's still in InDesign on an 11 by 8.5 page. Notice uh, there's zero inch margins on all sides Land and it's landscape this time instead of portrait and it's a number size envelope size so look at other you're going to draw a rectangle that measures nine and a half inches by 4.125 tall place the regular rectangle in the center of the page and it represents the envelope place your contents of the envelope in this rectangle and don't print so you're going to create a rectangle inside your InDesign document this specific size. If it's not this size, points will be deducted. So let, once again, let me show you in InDesign how we're going to set this up. So I'm going to close the last document. As always, make sure your uh, units and increments, InDesign preferences, units and increments, make sure it's inches, new document, I'm going to close that and go File, New, Document. 
And it's instead of uh, portrait, it says landscape. So let's go landscape. So 11 by 8 and a half. There's no columns. Your margins are zero. So all the margins are zero. See, zero inches on all sides. Click OK. So now you have a landscape. This is a full document. That, that's your um, document. Now, if you ever mess up on the margins, you can go layout, margins, and columns and, and change it up there as well. So you're going to create your document in, inside of this. Now, the next part of the directions says draw a rectangle that's 9.5 by 4.125. 9.5 by 4.125. So 9.5, 4.125. All right, so like I did last time, add a little stroke around it to see the outline of the envelope. And um, Everything's going to go in this uh, envelope. Now you can put a frame to place your logo right there. Um, you can go into Photoshop or Illustrator and draw something that matches your letterhead and business card. But be sure that the name and address is in the upper left because that's the from area envelope. Where does the two, like the two at where you're sending it to, where do you put the two on an envelope. Anybody? Huh? Where do you put the address that you're sending it to? In the middle. Yeah, in the middle, right here. Middle right yeah. side. So from is always top left, to is the middle right. Now on these envelope designs, you just have to put the from. Because you just you just need a standard template and you can add the two later for the many, many recipients that you'll be sending letters to. So that's a, the envelope. Be sure to look at the examples on eLearn and the instructions. Uh, anybody have any questions about the envelope? Okay then. Well, have fun. <laughs>